Okay, I'm going to teach you guys how to print off a full-size map using GIMP and D&D Beyond and your favorite PDF editor. I use Adobe. It's the one that I know. Step one, D&D Beyond. Sources. And the map that you wish to print off. You select the campaign. And I'll do Dragon Barrel. Come down here, view player version, right click, save image as. And then for me, I'm going to do it here, oops, nope, I'm going to do it here, 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 and then I'm going to name it something that's useful to me, dragon barrow map player map or dragon barrow player map dot png and you want to use png not jpeg png is a lossless format save then you find the place that you saved it to right click Open with GIMP. If you have an update that's available, you can choose to do so. I do, but I like the, the version that I have. So what we have here is the Dragon Barrow map. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that each of these squares are one inch to keep with uh, my minis that I use. In order to check that, I go to Image, Configure Grid, and I know that the pixel density for this is 72 inches, or excuse me, 72 pixels per inch. But I can change it here at the bottom. Inches, one. Oops. One. And that'll keep the scale. And I want to make sure that I can see the grid. So I will do something that is way off kilter from what's on the map. OK. OK. View. Show grid. And now we can see the grid. Oh, well, not really that well. Image. Configure grid. Let's just go with straight white. Yeah, that looks much better. But we run into an issue. We can see that the squares inside of here are much larger than the squares here. So I'm going to have to scale the image. Image, scale image. For this particular map, I already know what the width is supposed to be, and that is 4750 pixels. And because it keeps with the aspect ratio, it'll automatically calculate what I need it to be. Scale. And now, as you can see, they're about right. And if we want to see the grid matching exactly, And now we can see that the grid matches exactly all the way across, which is useful for us. So now we have the proper size map. We're going to File, Overwrite, Drag and Barrow, Player Map. That way, if we need to use this image again, we can do so. It'll take it a moment to save. And now, file, 
export as. Do it in the same location that you were uh, working in it in your uh, your image and we're going to export as whoops a PDF export I leave everything the same export you can see it's starting to save now we pull up here and we run our PDF now there are multiple things that you can do here here's what I do file print then you select your standard printer give it a moment to update as you can see you only get one small section select actual size then select poster and as you can see you can see all the various different areas that are going to print you can actually have it do the cut marks for you or you can choose it to not do the cut marks for you either one works here's the difference I'm going to take this and I'm going to set Microsoft print to PDF and what this is going to do is this is going to print off all the pages as individual pages so that I can later cut and bind these however I wish be it lamination or just cutting them and sliding them side by side I click print and it's going to open a dialog for me and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the same place I'm going to select player map but I'm actually going to save a new version and I'm going to call it by page and this will also take a moment to save okay now that it's saved I will file actually before I do anything else I'll close this and show you what it looks like open up this by page and then I'll change it back down to 75 percent and you can see with the cut marks here here and it has it all the way across no big deal but every one of these pages are now there available for you to print and that's it hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day